Welcome to The Big Fish. I'm Captain C.T. Williams, and we have a great show for you today. A little late, had some traffic this morning. Penny was late as usual, and um, uh, just meant that we let the sun come up. It was a cold morning, front just went through. So I think we're at, what, 55 degrees? Yeah, about 55. Water temperature's way warmer than the air temperature. Heading out of the Sweetwater Marina with Captain Jack Payne. And uh, off to do what, Jack? What are we doing today? I hope we're going to catch a few trout, a few redfish, <laughs> whatever else wants to eat on the smaller lines, and we're going to have a good trip. <laughs> we're scouting. All right. We've got Maddie McFarland and Chef Tenny Flynn joining us. Chef's going to tell us how to cook all the crazy stuff Jack finds. I'll just catch them all, and we'll have a real good time. Of course, later on, we'll head back down to the kitchen, 808 Bienville GW Fins, where we'll see what Chef Tenny has uh, prepared for us today. Outside of that, i got a few things to show you, but we're running late, so let's get this show on the road. What's our first stop? I believe we're going to go catch some redfish first. All right, redfish first. What's been going on? Until this front hit, you were actually putting a, a, a bunch of fish in the box. Uh, lots and lots of speckled trout, uh, redfish. Everything's been really good. A few black drum are starting to show up. A couple sheephead on a further out, you know, towards the edges. And uh, it's been good. I mean, real good. What uh, effects from the river? That's the first question everybody's going to ask. Nothing over here. The only effect we got is Mardi Gras cut and the uh, siphon up there by Canalman. And, but, but that hasn't slowed things down? They're pretty much, a, is this a normal spring? Well, uh, it's, it's turning out to be pretty normal. I mean, considering how it was early in the fall, it wasn't too great, then it turned on about kind of two months on. ago. Kind of heard that all across the coast, that one. Mm -hmm. Just all of a sudden, something just, just Mother Nature did something with the switch and fish started to pop up. So, looks like we're gonna have a good, uh, a good late spring and summer. It's looking that way, right. keeping my fingers crossed. I hear you. What about live shrimp? You still getting bait? Plenty of live shrimp. Still getting bait. Figure that'll be able to keep that going all the way through? All the way through to when the brown shrimp show up. We, we're fishing with white shrimp right now, but yeah. in another you know month and a half, the brown shrimp will be showing up, and then it'll be all brown shrimp. Bait in the area. You seeing mullets, bogeys? What are you seeing? Uh, lots of river shad, so a good amount of glass minnows when the water's clear, and uh, uh, a good amount of little finger mullets. So we know we've got fish, we know we've got bait. It's just a matter of if we have the right conditions today. That's right. Well, come on. What's up? So just redfish first, and then we'll go scuff some trout? I'm going to warm up a little bit and go catch a few trout. Works for me. Giddy up. Tell you what we're going to do. We'll take a break while Jack runs us to the first spot. You hang tight and we'll do some fishing as soon as we get back. Thanks. Welcome back. We have just made our first stop. A little windy. Water's not bad. Uh, sitting in a little canal. Got a grass line on the bank. Just cut right in there. I bet that's where we're going to cast. I'm going to get my sunscreen on because it's that day where you think it's cool enough that you might not need it, but you go home all red and wind burn and everything else. So, wear your SPF. Ding, 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 bloop. Ah. Oh, missed it. Real, you ah. got him. There you got him, real up. Here we go. Fish on. Oh my God. First fish. What do I do when he gets close to me? Real, real, real. Ah. Lift it up, lift it up. Boom. And I do like this, holding. I give him a kiss. You gotta kiss him. <laughs> oh. So, so I've got some fresh line on this battle too. This is a Spiderwire Ultra Cast, and um, on a on a relatively medium heavy action, relatively heavy action, uh, Atos, and uh, with this the wind blowing, I don't know, probably 15. And uh, this is just grass. I don't think this is a fish. But with it, I, can, I can throw this thing about 100 miles. Look at that. That didn't take long, did it? Hey, Kenny? <laughs> what's the matter, buddy? As long as they're in the box, I don't care who puts them there. Two for two. All right. That's the same <laughs> fish. <laughs> Jack, he just hooked it back on and threw it out. Well, he said he's jealous. He wants a kiss, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yonder again. Ah. <laughs> that didn't take long. Look at this. Three cast, three fish. Tenny, what's going on back there? <laughs> this one might make the box. Really didn't slow so it grows. That one will stay in the boat. Ah. Maybe. That'll be the first keeper of the day. Hopefully. Oh, no, he's going to make it. How big does it have to be? 16, 16 inches. inches. Let's see. Welcome up here. Oh, easy, easy. 16. First fish. All right, Maddie. All right. Well, I got one on. 
I don't know. That's the eating one. Oh yeah, we're good. We're happy. Fish on! Get him out of here. That'd be a good fish. Ah! That'd be a good fish. Oh. There you go. All right. Got a thing. He thought it slow, but he done warmed up well. Oh, here we go. CT show. Look, CT show, everybody. Got 25 feet of boat in front, and we're all the way here in the back. Can you take care of that redfish, would you? No problem. <laughs> That's a big old fish, if it's a fish. Oh. Uh. Wait, it's stronger than I am. It's an alligator. Wait, <laughs> I lost it. Ah! No, it's definitely a fish. <laughs> That's not a nutrient swimming like that. Wait, this is so much stronger than I am. Follow, follow where the fish goes, Maddie. What we got? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy mackerel, that is a, look at the size of that catfish. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm, that's what you come to Delacroix for right there, boys and girls. <laughs> that, that's what you come to, gee whiz. Fish tacos for everybody. <laughs> I gotta go put this thing in the box. Fish tacos for everybody. It's gonna be fun to watch Jack clean this. <laughs> Woo! And another one's on. She's going to go cat back to back. Oh, you got another catfish? Woo! That was a big fish. What are we, a little red? There we go. Keeper. So mad. A little bit, a little bit. All right, we've got some beautiful redfish in the box and one ginormous catfish. Let's take a quick break. Everybody kind of get re-rigged, get back out in the water. We'll be right back. Somebody's under. Get it. She's on fire, Tanny. She's on fire. I was acting like it might stay with us. Stay with us. That's a good one. Oh, fish on. What? A fish. We got it just sneaking them in. <laughs> Get them out of here. Keeper. Keeper. Good eating one. Ooh. Beautiful. Ah! <laughs> All right. There you go. He's beautiful. Bye bye. That was a keeper, but you you had the limit. So fish on again and again and again. Oh, a cheap head. Got a little variety. She got tired of catching redfish. Had to switch it up a little bit. Fish on with Teddy. Come on, chef. Oh, this is Why don't we take this redfish down to the kitchen? Let's see what you can do with it. Hey, on the half shell. On the half shell. How about that? We've got some small redfish here. Um, I have sprayed the grill. I'm going to spray it again. I'm seasoning that with some salt and a little bit of Creole seasoning. And the major difference that we do with redfish on the half shell is we put it meat side down first. And the reason we do that is to get some caramelization on there because that's where, you know, all the flavor comes from and everything. So, it's really hard to put too much of this stuff on. I know it says don't spray it in open flame, but I'm just spraying it over open flame. And I've got a, uh, I've got a good hot grill here, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. And I'm gonna put them in an angle because I'm gonna have a nice, cross marks on there. I'm also going to cover it up so that it cooks top and bottom. We'll come back and check that in a few minutes. 
All right, time to give him a turn. Cover him back up. Almost done. All right, it didn't take very long on that side because we had a cover on it initially. And now we're gonna plate this with some of, put this oyster dressing right in the cavity. You know, a little bit extra oyster dressing on the plate. And that doesn't need a sauce and that doesn't need anything else. But that's wood grill redfish on the half shell with Ruth Fertel's oyster and sausage dressing from GW Fins. GW Fins has dinner items so fresh they print a new menu daily. Give them a call and tell them CT said to give you the best seat in the house. We have done extremely well in 17 to 19, 20 inch uh, redfish. And uh, Captain Jackson is not satisfied with that catch. We're going to try for uh, maybe some more reds, maybe a little better quality. Who knows? Maybe some more big giant bull blue cat. <laughs> That'd be good. Those are fun. And, uh, and then who knows? Maybe before this is over, I can talk him into giving up one good trout spot for you. Let's see if he's, uh, if he's willing. I'm Take willing. It. You're willing? Okay. All right, let's go find one good trout spot after this one good red fish spot. All right, so we'll take a quick break and uh, make a move. We'll see you on the other side of that. You got to get it right on the edge of that grass. You want to get the ball to right, right Under. back. You press it off. That didn't take long. What? Jack is going to get you the bait right now. All right. all my time for you. Bro. I swear to you, if you're not in the right spot, you're not going to catch them. Right here. Let it come out of that grass. Right. Kenny, throw it right between those two where cords. I'm at right there. Bam! You notice he's not scared. <laughs> Red fish. Oh. Big uh -oh. fish. Here we go. Uh oh. Kenny got a keeper. I'm just waiting for it to give me a shot to drop it right at, right at your shoes. Okay, well, <laughs> you got control of that fish? Oh, look at how Boom! Oh, he's going in the net on that one. Oh, right in the net. Very nice. Damn! Very nice. Watch this figure eight. Here we go. Coming in. One, two, three. Spin around. And then... <laughs> <laughs> that was good, man. I'll take a fish in the chat. Watching them Jack Kane archives. Oh, let me get that, dude. Boom! <laughs> what can I say? Uh -huh. Here we go. All right. We have caught all the red fish that the law allows in all the bull, bull, blue, blue or bull cat. Is it a blue bull cat or a bull blue cat? Anyway, it is a big cat. A big cat that this boat allows. So we're going to go see if we can't find one or two trout. How about five or six or 10 or 15? A few trout. It's for you. Fish on. Fish this on. Turn your phone off while I'm catching fish, Jack Payne. A little red. It's like a trout. <laughs> Big, beautiful speckled trout on the first cast. 
That's not always a good thing. I'll just back with y'all, pull them in. Pick it up, one, two, three. Oh. One, two, three, left. Oh, good one. Boom. Good fish, Four, five, five. Well, that's nice to tell you. The quality of the fish are fantastic. About time, Jack Payne. Very nice. Put the bait here, put the fish here. You want me to leave this box open? Oh, we're gonna have to measure him, Jack. I don't know. Put him in the boat. Good job. Oh, can't even. Yeah. There you boom, go. Boom. Two at a time. Double up. Right by the boat. Boom. Don't hit the side. Oh, it's got a big old mouth on it. Jeez. Boom. <laughs> I can just feel it go brr, brr. Like a speckle trout. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Come on, bring it in here. I'll take care of it for you. Oh, man. Boom. Wow. What, what we got right here? Speckle trout. Whoa. Whoa. That's a pretty one. Boom. Ah. Good catch, Tenny. Captain Jack, a nice box of fish today. This is uh, that's the biggest catfish I've ever seen in Delacroix. You say they're more right off this dock right here. 50 pounds. 50 no pounds problem. right off the dock. That's the smallest sheephead I've ever seen you keep. <laughs> he, he, well, didn't, he didn't know it was in the box. He didn't know. Tenny snuck in the sheephead because that's his favorite fish. Maddie, this was your technically your second favorite uh, second fishing trip, but it's got to be your favorite now. It was absolutely my favorite fishing trip. Very good. She caught a lot of fish, <laughs> a whole lot of fish. More than anybody else. Well, m maybe so. Maybe more than me. But I will say this, not more speckled trout than CT did over Jack. So just got to keep that squared. I was just keeping the bow straight. Once again, it's his show. Once again, I'm to be a great once guy, again, I like the once know, again. Don't ever forget that. Make good on his show. <laughs> Well, speaking of shows, we are out of town, guys. Thanks so much for joining us today. Hope to see you out there catching fish like Captain Jack or like Maddie. But if we don't see you on the water, please join us right back here next time. You clean. No problem. I'm ready. Boom. Need a belt. We need the harness. Okay, y'all. Watch, watch. This is going to make me happy again. <laughs> watch. watch. He's smiling. He's, he's, I think he's really learning. He's really learning. <laughs> Professor Payne. Doing the figure eight. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, oh. You gotta hold your line up and get your rod. How many times did oh, I tell you? Dad, let's go. Woo! <laughs> right in the middle. No net. Unbelievable. People do listen. Oh, jeez. It's a jig head, y'all. Check that out. That's the pink jig head. Could you move the bait further away from me? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let me help you, you out. Yeah, take a little handful, oh, man. Right? You are the best. Yeah, I'll, there you go, buddy. I don't have any friends better than you, Jack Payne. Oh, you, man, thank you. Set the hook, baby. You got one. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, you missed him.